This is Jim Green of JMR Systems. I'm going to do a demo of some of this advanced modeling tools available in GibbsCam. This demo will bring in a complex camera, which I have on the screen, and use several tools, uh, including face selection, edge selection, profiler, the body bag, and a few others to accomplish separating this complex model into a core cavity uh, mold. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the body bag. I double click and if I put it in the body bag where I can keep bodies that I can work on or hide, I'm going to duplicate it back out to the uh, workspace with control D. What I want to do is get rid of some of these features that will be in the way of making a clean mold and take them into sink or die uh, for a more accurate uh, burning of the component back into the mold. So I'm going to use uh, face selection here to take care of the lens opening. And opening up solid modeling, we have a command that I'll use throughout this demo, unstitch solid. This makes a plug that can then be sink or dyed and also fills that hole in so that I have a nice smooth moldable part. I can also use edge selection to accomplish this too. If I take the upper edge and the lower edge of a complex hole, that same command will plug that complex part and allow that to be again sink or dyed and smooth out our part for the core and cavity. Now these I can do all at once as well. So using face selection, I'm going to window in here. I'm going to pick all these faces. And then I'm going to use a right mouse click select faces above. Close the body bag. A few more of these to do. Okay, last one. Select faces above. And now that same command will do all those at once. I'll body bag this first to show you those and our body bag allows a very quick select workspace and also bag selected bring back out the part that I was working on so essentially I've got the top all smooth I'm going to flip the part over now and work on the bottom using edge selection I'll quickly double click this bottom edge run my unstitched solid and now I have the complex bottom and this will become the cavity component in a mold. And I'm like we work on the core cavity. I'll bring this back out and on the other side you see I still have some features. Flip this over and let's come in and do some other things. One thing we can do is use a combination of Face select and edge select. Take the face, the upper edge, run my unstitch, separate out this component, close the body bag. Same tool can be used here. Put this in my body bag. And then the other ones I can use another tool that uses the profiler. And this will allow me to slide a plane up and down in the part until I get selected faces. And I can go ahead and if I position it properly, 
pick the inside of all those at once by clicking those profiles right mouse clicking select faces from selected profiles the only thing I need now are the floors and I can do all those at once so there you go I can come up here select the bodies in the workspace bag the selected and I have my two components one for the core and one for the cavity in a few minutes and all these other models can very quickly be sent out as individual parasolids for sink or die machining that's it very powerful editor found in Gibbscam thank you